Wow, I'm really tempted to mulligan this, but I have the right mixture of land and guys, and I can spawn in breath one of his annoying guys at the beginning. Eventually I'll get a rapacious one. Hopefully I'll draw a black for my blood right invoker. I'm just going to ride this one out. He mulliganed to six and is going first. And I have a good target for spawning breath already. Alright. Good, good. Level him up. Alright. That's what we like to see. Go ahead and just spawn in breath that guy right now. Got to filter once, but he paid three mana to draw a card and discard a card, and I discard a card, sort of. Eh, he's still got good value there. Brood Warden's a nice draw there. Combos nicely with Rapacious One. Gets past his uh, Stalwart Shield Bearers. Hopefully he doesn't have like two of those guys. That's kind of annoying. Alright, well, my lack of action could become a problem soon. Yeah, that... Alright, well, there's Artisan, but... He's kind of a long way off unless I get some awesome rapacious one hits. Do I play Brood Warden here? I don't think so. I think I'd rather just wait a turn, hang on to that spawn token for for a nice snack later on. Yeah, here come the McKindy Griffin beats. Guy's good. I guess I'll play this one. I could just play the Predator, it's probably better. This way I can play the Artisan of Kozilek. Especially if he taps out. If he doesn't tap out, I'll probably just go for the Rapacious one. If he wants to. Um, take something out, you can do that. Alright, well, Frostwind Invoker. Sure. Okay, well, I definitely want him... Well, I'm just playing Artisan of Kozlek, no matter what, probably. My other option is just to play a rapacious one. I mean, he could have a smite, and that would make this kind of annoying. Whereas if I just force him to use it on his rapacious one, on my rapacious one first, that would be better. Especially when I drop Brood Warden and then swing with Rapacious One and this guy and all these tokens. That'll be insane. Oh man. Am I overly concerned with getting the value out of this guy? I guess I'm more more really just worried about the smite. He still has to sacrifice two permanents, so it sets him back pretty far. This guy's trampoly. This might be wrong. Might be better to just get him with the Annihilator while he's still got low mana. In case he's got the Sphinx, basically.
Oh man. This is dirty though. I think I do this. No whammies. crazy that I could have played Artisan and I think not doing it was the correct play. Smite? Yeah, see? Know what I'm doing here, folks. He's really got to have a counter, though. At this point, I would be very surprised if he didn't. I'll probably just swing with the Brood Ward and then the Predator and then play the Artisan of Kozilek and bring back Rapacious One. Seems like the play. Ooh, he's swinging away. Wow. That scares me. Sphinx of Magosi. Demonic Wall bringing back Smite. Good for you, buddy. But I think I've got this. Yeah, he can't kill any of my spawn tokens. I guess he could smite one, but he's not going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't even matter if he does. So yeah, I swing with everybody and then play Artisan of Kozilek. Just hope for the best. He almost is he almost just died there. Sad. I hope he doesn't kill me with some kind of a Cheap trick. Oh, right. Oh, well, good for him. Hmm. Probably a rapacious one is better. Since I only have one spawn token. He might still have me here. I guess I shouldn't have swung with Brood Warden there. Oh no. Got me. Well, he had me either way. That was a close game. Hmm. I guess Life Strider could be pretty important. Yeah, it's just, it's, Pen and Blade's too slow here. Alright, onwards.